Welcome back. Well, today is the day I'm going to start on my fastest limitless refresh. So we have all the parts over there. The perfect pass, the Corvette body, the game changer fans, um, all the stuff I'm going to be putting into this. And we got a package that we're going to open up. And uh, reached out to... Uh, to the basher queen on uh, on some parts for the build uh, thanks to RC guy garage um, he recommended uh, reaching out to her that she's got a package of uh, parts that might go well with this uh, build So here we go. So I did get a couple of these. One is going to be used on this and one is going to be used on my red Limitless, the new build. So center support brace, some more carbon fiber bits. There's the part number if you guys are curious through uh, the Basher Queen side skirts. Look how well everything is packaged up. You gotta say, for the way she's presenting this, it's definitely, uh, definitely pretty cool. So then, here's our take it the wing kit carbon fiber rear wing which is something we probably won't be using on this um, we are going to use some of the pieces but you know with the Corvette body we're going to have to change the back of that so god that stuff is uh, pretty nice looking uh, let me show you guys the part number on that in case anybody is interested you can order it as a kit like I did, or you can order the parts separately. Here's some more steering plates and that kind of stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link the kit I bought um, down below in the, in the description. I'll put the link to her eBay page on this. I want to say this was 159 or something like that. And then you had to buy the support braces. If you wanted the support braces, wasn't included in the kit. So I bought a couple of them. Um, I really liked them because of the hot racing ends on them and the way she did them. She did show how she makes these. Pretty cool. It's worth the money. In my mind, anyway. Hot Racing is a product I use anyway. So I find their stuff to be pretty good. So. And here is the front splitter. And the reason I'm doing this, I'm changing this up. Because this is my fastest limit list. We're going to shed some pounds. I got some pretty heavy stuff on this. Um, now and we're gonna lose some weight we're gonna get some weight off of the front of this thing I was drag racing it did put a light in the front of it because it was literally last time I had this thing out was drag racing it so we're gonna convert it back um, to a speed run and uh, put up retire the old uh, gap reviews 
uh, body. I did buy Gaps Limitless. And uh, so we're gonna try to shed some weight off this uh, this pig. These parts definitely uh, did okay, um, but they are kind of heavy, uh, especially for what I'm trying to do with it now. So we're going to uh, lighten her up, put her on a diet. You can still get the speed out of it um, this way. Um, if you're going to uh, just uh, with the open wheel setup, the weight really didn't uh, didn't hurt it. It kind of helped it. Um, but we're gonna go close wheel now. So I'm hoping the aerodynamics are gonna suck it down and we can lighten it up and we're just gonna go faster. That's my hopes. So. So I will be uh, painting the body, uh, cutting the body out. Haven't decided what color I'm gonna go yet um, on that body. Definitely something bright. Just not sure what yet. This is the reason I drilled out the aluminum and still put these bolts back in it rather than uh, shaving off the nubs because I wanted to keep this. As you see, Phil Jolly cat back shoved uh, way in the rear of this RC. That's why you don't see it up in here. I have uh, the cat pack by Philip Jolly. And then of course the Scorch RC uh, drive shafts in this thing. And then these are new foams on here. So I keep it up off the ground so I don't get flat spots in these foams. Even though I'm starting to feel a flat spot because I left it overnight on the table, um, on the ground, which you should never do. But that's what happens when you're me. So, we've got all that off. I definitely gotta get the uh, ties off of there. This is my light. And I mold it into the nose of this thing. Still have my original chassis protector on this. This thing's seen, uh, seen some pretty hard, uh, crashes. I might have to uh, change the front of this thing. Give it a refresh. But as you see, the aluminum piece stayed screwed in, no problem. You 
can see where she countersunk that which is nice you can probably use the factory bolts now and they're gonna sit in there pretty pretty nice with some pretty good thread sticking out now that always tells me how well it's cut if uh, you can put those ends in no problem some of the eBay stuff you can't do that kind of curious why she's got a couple extra holes up here in this carbon fiber This one I won't be running one of these center braces because I got to keep this ESC low but I might be pulling out the XLX and putting an XLX2 down here if I do that I'm gonna change out this center brace um, might change it up a little bit so I do have the game changer fan and the TP motor in this one. It's a really good setup. Looks like it's going to be about that high. So I might be able to cut around the wing support. So I will be showing you guys uh, how to uh, cut out a body. Um, I know most of you guys already know how to do it, but I do have a few people out there that uh, that want to know how to cut out a body and uh, fit it, how I do it anyway. So I think the next thing we're going to do is, I don't need the wing supports. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the whole RC, get it all cleaned up because like I said last time I had it out, had a bad crash, it's all dusty. It's not really dirty, it's just dusty from going off into the dirt um, out of the drag races. So I'm going to have to pull apart the whole front, we're going to pull apart basically the front to get all this steering stuff on there um, and then I'm gonna have to change the way that I did the sides for these I'm gonna build the support for this back here and I think all this stuff Oh, that's a shock tower. So we're going to change out, looks like the front shock tower. Are we changing out the rear shock tower too? 
Let's see. So that looks like a front shock tower. No, nope, that's a rear. Rear shock tower. So that's going back there. Carbon fiber shock tower front. There's the front. How little that thing is. So that's going to go up here. The Ackerman plate. That's for our steering. So that's going in the front up here. The steering plates, the end plates. It's going up here as well, steering. And then the top plate. So that's replacing that red plate. So all that's going up there, that's going there, that's going back there. Sure do get a lot of parts. Then it looks like we have some carbon fiber wing supports. So where's the center section? So if these are the carbon fiber wings that are going to delete. Oh no, it doesn't delete this. So I guess you use the factory centerpiece. So you use the plastic in the center and just the two sides. Huh. So yeah, we're going to get this changed out as well, it looks like. I, I really do want to put the wing on the side skirt deals we're going to have to work on I don't know if uh, I'm going to be able to cut a slit in the body and then kind of run this back here or what we're going to do but I kind of want to still run a rear wing so I'm going to try to modify the back of the Corvette body to run a wing now I was hoping to run a carbon fiber center so I'll have to look into that to get rid of the plastic factory one. Um, but I'll have to look into that. But that's a part of doing these builds. Is that you're going to be throwing a curveball. So I'm going to get things cleaned up. Get my workbench cleaned up. That's going to end this video. On the next video, we're going to be basically... Um, I'm going to have this broke down, put back together, and then we're going to start cutting the body. Um, I'm going to break it down off camera just to get this all this stuff cleaned up. And then we're going to start a reassembly and the body, uh, these parts put on, the body cut, all that stuff is going to be in the next video. So if you guys want to see the refresh of my Limitless, stay tuned. The next video on this, uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get this thing knocked out. Try to do it all in one video. It might have to be a two-part series depending on how long it takes. Um, but we'll go from there. So there we go, guys. Just a little, uh, I guess, update, a little start. Go check out Basher Queen. I'm going to get the link in the description for the eBay uh, link that I bought this stuff off of. And uh, check out the stuff. And then we're going to get it all installed. Looks like uh, really good quality stuff. I'm still kind of curious what these holes are that are in the front here. There's got to be a reason for it. It might be for pinning down the body or something like that. I'm not sure. But I will ask her what these holes are in these splitters. To have these two holes up here. It... Uh, kind of curious so it might be for the factory part I'm just not sure but uh, we'll find out we'll ask her and uh, we'll see what she says but I think uh, getting off these fans and going to the carbon fiber with the carbon fiber look 
from Basher Queen. I think it's going to be a pretty sick build. So this carbon fiber with the game changer, carbon fiber fans, and then his new backs to protect it. Pretty cool. How he's got the rear cage to protect the back of the fans. Pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool little, little setup right there. And that carbon fiber matches almost perfectly. I mean it should because Basher Queen makes these for Game Changer. And that was another reason I went with Basher Queen. Support the people that support you. And uh, that carbon fiber looks really good. And it matches almost perfectly. Well, it is perfectly because it's her carbon fiber. But there we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.